All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome to a game. TBCBM versus Leoha. This game taking place here on Hammerfall. On the top left-hand side of the map, we have Leoha spawning as the blue night elf. Meanwhile, TBCBM spawning as the yellow undead on the other side of the map. Yo, Weekend Mag Magus, how are you? Or Magus? Magus? Not quite sure. Um, where to? Just a soft vowel, a hard vowel all of those things all right let's just go ahead and get this it's been so long um well we've been gone over the weekend um you know family parties things like that um, hopefully you guys are happy you know having a very happy holiday time going up to two times speed just to get to that two minute mark as we're looking at well it's going to be a tavern hero and we know that the fire lord has been very popular as of late coming back down over here on the bottom right we are looking at a death knight no real surprises as things are well getting underway here and now um some of you guys may know that i'm in the stormgate beta and you know just playing some games against the computer tr um, trying to like learn how to build everything and and all of those keys and learning all of the units as well and i went back to watch one of the replays and i i don't know if this is going to be the case but i think the replay system um there's no way to turn off fog of war and there's no way to actually see what your opponent is doing unless you have um the replay file from um from an observer um they've been making some new changes i believe um there was some discussion on how you can like solve map hacking and things like that nature and well one of the ways you solve map hacking is you don't send the information over of what your opponent is doing until you're actually close enough but that also means that well there is going to be a problem with um a, a problem if you're trying to study replays to see what your opponent did earlier in the game if you didn't actually have a unit there anyways action already on in this game here you can see fire lord trying to finish off one of those ghouls going to be able to finish it off here ancient of war taking a little bit of damage lava spawns are coming around doing a little bit of splitting as well as the fire lord is just running around in circles trying to finish off and well very different targets coming back here uh, well fire lord was able to summon up another lava spawn here and now with the help of those moon wells may be able to get a decent push back as we're looking at these lava spawns here still engaging and attacking all right those lava spawns look like they're going to split again there's one more split there another split right there as the death knight has to be very careful doesn't want to well fight around against all of these lava spawns here as there are four of these units now all right level two on the fire lord has been well completed we're looking at well a dust of appearance we're going to see one archer perhaps get taken down skeletal minions falling all over the place as more lava spawns are just popping up out of everywhere skeletal minion does get in the final shot off on that archer as the fire lord picks up some of those last couple of tomes tree of life is now complete or um, tree of life now being placed down off at that 12 o'clock position so the night elf is trying to go for an early expo meanwhile tbcbm is already at, well more than halfway teching the tier two as we see the tech to tier two just now getting started by the night elf as well all right Claws of attack plus five lava spawns well they are getting cleaned up they do have a uh, timed life there and we're gonna see the fire lord perhaps pick up a little bit more um, a little bit more experience as the ghouls are now coming back around again tree of life taking quite a bit of damage here as we're looking at the lava spawn i don't believe nope it is actually gonna get a split off once more just as it was about to run out on time life and here we are here we go there goes another ghoul ghouls could easily just start to get run into a little bit of problems one or two more shots and wow that ghoul able to escape away at eight hit points units trying to retreat back again the well, tree of life once more being re-established reef elemental will get taken down as the fire lord does pick up boots of speed alongside those claws of attack all right reef elemental doing a little bit of a aggro switch back here meanwhile the fire lord is trying to fight back but the naga sea witch a very very fast tavern hero and um, well accommodating that tech to tier two quickly the fire lord now finds himself in a two on one situation unable to properly protect this expo a lot of momentum switching 
over to the undead as that tech to tier two is going to be able to help but we can see a level two lava spawn is out here on the battlefield now fire lord does have boots of speed could try and outrun um, the Naga Sea, which is Cold Arrows, but as the Death Knight opted to go for Unholy Aura first. Sorry if we're not pointing this out sooner, but this Death Knight has been at level 1 for so long, and there were no uh, well, Death Coils to try and save those other units, or Death Coils to pick off other units there faster movement speed with swarming ghouls where um, and normally you're able to punish and take down a decent number of archers but that just didn't seem to be the case this time around all right lava spawn looked like he was trying to do a little bit of a split here fire lord now making its rounds back across and to finish off this enforcer there's that little big explosion there as he does drop a cloak of shadows void walker with some cold arrows inc incinerate um, another explosive death right there trying to fin uh, finish off some of these units as the tree of life is nearly done now picking off these lower picking off these units here we can see the fire lord does have a bit of slow aggro now switched over to from um, well, on to that lava spawn here, and we're going to see a Claws of Attack plus 8 now. All right, big item, Claws of Attack plus 8, and even more damage on this hard-hitting, auto-attacking Fire Lord as the Forest Troll Berserker does fall. Meanwhile, Death Knight still sitting at level 1 after all this time. Naga Sea Witch is here. Fire Lord may try and hire up a, a Tavern Hero. No, no Tavern Hero, as we're going to be looking at a Demon Hunter instead. So Tree of Ages, Demon Hunter now out here on the battlefield. Level 1 Mana Burn most likely going to be the case as the heroes are already out and about. Archers are trying to do a little bit of a picking apart here as we see a couple of ensnares go down as well. All right, damage going across um, well, all over the place here. Meanwhile, Fire Lord trying to get in front of the Naga Sea Witch. Demon Hunter, are we going to come across from behind, get some mana burns off onto the Naga Sea Witches here? And this is an odd situation. Obsidian statues out here on the battlefield before we even see a death coil able to be launched. Meanwhile, ghouls are trying to retreat back here. This Fire Lord is rather low on mana, not going to be able to do that much. Meanwhile, the Death Knight down to 330 hit points already trying to retreat back scale little minions gonna get in some easy easy splitting here as well they're gonna be able to get in some damage once more lava spawns putting in pressure demon hunter coming back across here we're looking at the naga sea which still hiding in the back after buying a potion of healing lava spawn does get taken down archers are now being forced to retreat back as the ghouls are looking to well, f um, well fall back again Death Knight finally at level 2 forces the Demon Hunter to try to get in some mana burns. Demon Hunter in a lot of trouble, down to 50 hit points. He's going to get taken down. Naga Sea Witch now also at level 2 as the Fire Lord gets to level 4. Level 2 Incinerate is on the table here, but it only really helps once those units start exploding. As the Fire Lord is now retreating back, um, Demon Hunter will get resurrected at level 1 fairly fast as the Death Knight, Naga Sea Witch, and Obsidian Statues are going to start to hit a good stride now and get perhaps to level 3 quickly. Meanwhile, we're looking at Night Elf being able to build up his economy faster. You can see he's sitting at 46 over 50 supply, um, winning in that overall supply race and now getting in some Dryads, some Tier 2 units out here on the battlefield. Meanwhile, Death Knight still has that potion of greater healing he had earlier. Some strong survivability there. Naga Sea Witch also holding on to that potion of, of healing as well as the Lich picks up an Orb of Corruption. Fire Lord uh, uh, coming over to perhaps put in some pressure across some of those units. You can see some Frenzy being cast by the Necromancers. I was originally expecting to see some animate or or yeah animate the, or raise dead try to get some of those necromancer skeletons out here on the battlefield instead it's fast attacking heroes who take a little bit of damage death coil frost nova finding the back of that demon hunter here and it is frenzy which is causing the problems now death knight i'm gonna pick up a ring of regeneration as well we're looking at some big fast attacks all across the board as the dryads are picking off those necromancers slowly but surely meat wagons are joining in on the battle there's level three on the death knight there's a death coil to save the necromancer fire lord trying to well 
as well spawn up some extra units perhaps finish off more as we can see some beautiful beautiful micro by the night elf picking off those lower hit point units and allowing the creeps to still continue to well cause a bit of problems naga see which gets to level three lich staying at level one that ghoul frenzy very fast um, attack speed on that lich death knight well no more frenzy there but um, it looks as though the nagas or the the lich with that fast attack speed able to apply that negative armor debuff nagasi which also with those faster attacks able to rack up some damage too all right what is gonna come up next that is the question here undead well with that unholy frenzy able to really get a lot of a lot of mileage out of the auto attacks of those heroes death knight um death knight still holding on to that potion of greater healing he did sell that ring of regeneration um that was on there earlier and we can see that there is blight down here now so tbc bm should be able to set up an expo easily also place down some defensive ziggurats as well meanwhile this meat wagon does have um, um, is holding a number of corpses so animate or getting those um, skeletals then that necro wagon strategy may eventually be a thing so the heroes are going to be hard hitting with unholy frenzy able to attack quickly and then also having a strong supporting cast as well all right meanwhile not quite sure why all of these units are just constantly backing up here a little bit farther death knight picks up a health stone so was the potion of greater healing yeah now it's transferred over here to the naga sea witch coming back around and demon hunter is at level three we're seeing more lava spawn splits again and a cloak of shadows picked up by the demon hunter all right one last well red creep camp uh, here on the bottom left hand side of the map lava spawn is well tanking much of that damage four lava spawns focusing and well, 21 to 45 piercing damage. Scroll of Town Portal coming back to defend here. And what item was dropped? Claws of Attack plus five. Perhaps it was rotated out. Yeah, Claws of Attack plus eight. Um, perhaps it dropped here earlier. A Demon Hunter can go ahead and try and engage here as the Meat Wagons are able to finish off this Ancient of War easily. Night Elf sitting at 66 supply. Meanwhile, TBC BM uh, pushing across with at 51 supply. A rather awkward spot as we're looking at the animated dead now. Dryad, or a Book of the Dead, also being used by Night Elf. Both sides fighting their way through. Wisp coming across to get in some detonations. Try to finish off some of those skeletal minions before too much damage is done. Meat Wagons are still doing a good number of lobs against those Dryads, but the Dryads still seem to be okay for now as we are looking at a couple of mana burns as well. Meat Wagons get able to get back in that back position again. Are we going to see some strong lobs against those Dryads? Yes, we are. And as those Dryads are getting um, well, uh, splashed down, um, the armies 57 to 55 are starting to become a bit more even as TBCBM temporarily took the supply lead. Now, however, backed into a corner, the Dryads getting within that zero range of those meat wagons, able to take them down and perhaps now going to be able to finish off some other targets. Naga Seawitch down to 500 hit points after using a potion of greater healing as the Fire Lord buys a potion of lesser invulnerability. Fight at the Goblin Merchant Shop. Who, who is going to fall first? Lich is going to take get taken down. There's a big explosion. Double Lava Spawn split right now as more damage is still racking up pushing themselves into a heavy corner are we gonna see the obsidian statue get taken down no we do not teleported away at three hit points yeah death knight retreating all the way back here um, health stone i believe was used ring of regeneration here we're looking at a blight providing a little bit of additional um, recovery here as the lava spawns uh, are still looking strong but they are going to be falling the puddles of nothing or molten rock there as th well their time life comes to an end low hit point obsidian statue really no point in this fight here as we see a level five fire lord now level three lava spawns 32 to 56 damage some very very heavy damage indeed as the death knight now tries to retreat back 
Lich about to get resurrected here. We're looking at the Necromancers trying to, uh, well, churn up some things as level 4 Demon Hunter now falls back. Lava Spawn is still getting in some attacks here. I don't believe, um, well, it'll, it is going to be able to split that Spirit Tower. And Naga Seawitch is going to try and, well, finish that off. A split does get a little bit more regeneration as the Spirit Tower is causing some damage here. Lava Spawn, well, quickly gets finished off. I th it Does the armor type change? Was no, the armor type shouldn't change. It was heavy the entire time. Just additional units out here, and perhaps the Lich applying some negative armor debuff to allow the Spirit Tower to finish it off quickly. TBCBM still in that awkward 51 supply range, t uh, paying the low upkeep taxes with nothing to really show for it. Meanwhile, Death Knight looking to get to level 4 um, and should be able to get there quickly. Naga C, which is going to get to... Uh, or going to be very close to level four lich gets up to level three so level two oh come on one more shot there it goes and lich now at level three with level two frost nova that uh, death coil frost nova could spell certain doom remember the fire lord is an agility based hero so it doesn't have a lot of hit points at set and it almost feels like a caster similar to the shadow hunter of the orc army at only 775 hit points a death coil frost nova combination with a little bit of focus fire especially from these frenzy the heroes could really burst down that hero and um, bur burst it down we are looking to see that the potion of invulnerability survivability on uh, that fire lord coupled with the demon hunter being able to get off and execute those critical early mana burns to um well to minimize how much spell damage comes out from this undead army under town is under siege. all right a little bit of an engagement here no scroll of town portal po possible as there is no necropolis massive number of repairs to try and keep the spirit tower up and well even with all of these repairs though it's not going to be able to stay alive spirit tower has been focusing down some individual targets it looks as though this ex expo will get taken down a demon hunter staying at level four the demon hunter does have an orb of venom and there is a staff of preservation on the fire lord as the units are now looking to fall back all right Undead army, dual meat wagons with nearly full, um, well, corpses inside the belly. Necromancers have plenty of mana. Demon Hunter gets staffed to preservation back home. Death Coil onto the Demon Hunter as it's going to be a slow walk to try and defend. Leaving home without that scroll of town portal. And now this is what ends up happening. A lot of, um, a lot of fighting going back and forth here. Is the demon hunter going to be able to drink some more of that moonwell juice? It looks like he's able to get a little bit more going. Needs to perhaps try and mana burn down more of these units here. As the necromancers are turning out these skeletal minions and or skeletal mages and skeletal warriors. Dryad's not a good counter um, to even though they are summoned units. We need to see some dispel from those wisps as the Death Knight able to stay alive at least a little while longer here. Well, in comes some more of these units again. And Death Knight forced to use a scroll of town portal. He was at uncomfortable frontline spot. Are we gonna see any other undead units fall? No. But his army was just much, much larger, had higher damage output, but was forced to use a scroll of town portal as the death knight, well, as you can see, is completely surrounded by all of these skeletal units unable to break free. Meanwhile, the expo here has been destroyed and night elf is just sitting on the stronger economy again. Will he be able to get level 5 on to the Demon Hunter, get level 3 Mana Burn, and really shut down the enemy spell casting? And um, that is what I'm expecting the Night Elf strategy to be. Meanwhile, TBCBM needs to be more careful with his heroes. If he was able to prolong that fight a little bit longer, perhaps do some more lasting damage to the Night Elf base, the Night Elf base would not be able to recover nearly as quickly. Alright. 
More engaging, getting underway. Meat wagons are here. Dryads are off to the side. Here we are, Deathcoil, Frost Nova, and and now well, necromancers, uh, well, summoning up an army to fight back. Meat wagons able to get on a couple of good lobs against the Dryad army here. Both sides are still fighting as more and more necromancers um, are summoning up these mages. Skeletal mages, 11 to 12 piercing damage, trying to go after all of these units. Staff of Preservation, and this is just going to be a, what looks like a strong hold to try and establish this expo, not actually try and do a counter push. Well, nope, I take it back. Counter push coming across here, but those skeletal mages and minions, or yeah, skeletal warriors and mages do not last forever. So the timing on this is going to be absolutely key. The necromancers are low on mana, and so are the obsidian statues. That is going to be the problem. Low on, low on mana, not being able to churn out those spells, and then going also up against a demon hunter. Night Elf also at looking to expo here at the 9 o'clock location. And that is going to, well, act as a bit of, well, reinforcing that economic advantage here as some of the Wisps may be transferring back it down to the south. Both sides want to make sure that they're not the one, well, falling apart here. We can see the Disease Cloud also still eating away at the Night Elf army. The bears and the dryads are still taking damage even though it is nightfall with 200% natural regeneration for night elf units during this time. Alright, gonna get ready to engage here. Oh, Staff of Preservation quickly teleports the Demon Hunter all the way back home. There's that little bit of cripple. There's a, that, that disease as well as the army is getting ready to move on out. That new obs Is there a new obsidian statue? I thought, yes. One new obsidian statue here. Three, well, pretty dry obsidian statues off on the side as we're going to be getting into this engagement at the northern position. Necromancers seem to have plenty of mana. Meat wagons have, well, plenty of corpses. And we're going to be going into a battle here in just a second. All right, there's a quick roar. As, well, Druids of the Cloud need to get into that bear mode. But there you go. Takes a Frost Nova and before he could transform into a bear. And you can see how much life he lost there. Obsidian statue in that front line spot. This is actually poor positioning by TVCBM. And there's a big detonation there as the Demon Hunter gets up to level 5. Now exposing all of these other units. Mana burn. And now a suddenly a pop-up army surrounding the Demon Hunter who probably wants immolation right now. All right. Low hit point. Druid of the Cloud could get blasted easily. But there is no more mana on the heroes. Demon Hunter could be in trouble. Staff of Preservation retreats back as the Fire Lord gets up to level 6. Alright, a lot of low hit point Druids of the Claw though. One gonna get taken down, another gets taken down as the Demon Hunter comes back fully refreshed, ready to go. Lava, well, a little bit more damage coming back across. All of these Druids of the Claw are suffering a lot of damage from these Necromancers with their magic attack. Demon Hunter, meanwhile, still trying to dive on in, able to force another scroll of Town Portal to retreat. Are we going to see some more Meat Wagons destroyed? We do see some. 45 supply compared to 47. Fire Lord sits at level 6. Could buy, well, buying up scroll of healing and ready to push pressure here at the 3 o'clock spot to make sure there is no, well, no more mining happening here. All right. Death Knight. Lich, Naga Sea Witch, all sitting at level 4. Um, seems to happen a l fairly often with undead armies having four or three heroes at level 4 and, and still being fairly threatening compared to the level 6 Fire Lord and the level 5 Demon Hunter. And Druids of the Claw, well, staying in that uh, Druid form, needs to get off some more rejuvenations. Uh, keep some of all or all of these units alive and well as the fire lord gets another clarity potion all right we do see volcano on that fire lord so the fire lord could perhaps take down the necropolis the, and this spirit tower here fairly quickly with that ultimate ability shutting down that base would be key but remember, Night Elf only has about two and a half more minutes on this northern spot. TBCBM still has full saturation here, or um, can get full saturation here. And if he's able to hold on to this base, he'll be able to get, well, catch up in that economic game overall. We can see more creeps still getting cleared out. There is still a little bit of this creep camp, or actually a good amount of this creep camp left to try and get all of the undead heroes, or at least some of them, to level 5. A player's forces are under attack. 
gosh. All right. Engagement here. There's that volcano causing a bit of stunning, taking down some of these buildings. Are we going to see more of these, um, well, more of these acolytes get taken out? There's a, a, a consistent stun, and yep, a volcano popping up out of the ground. Fire Lord able to shut down this expo in just a matter of seconds. Meanwhile, what is the un undead army trying to do at this spot? Making sure that this expo here at the 9 o'clock position is... Um, well, is not operational. Now, TBCBM needs to be careful on positioning. We've seen what happens when his positioning isn't quite right as the meat wagons were able to get off of some good lobs against those uh, dryads, which are incredibly important. Now, in comes the skeletal minions or skeletal warriors and skeletal mages. Big damage here. Mana flare on the fairy dragons, but the fairy dragons weren't in position at the very start. That is going to be a problem. Their fairy dragons trying to reflect back, but remember, the skeletal mages do deal decent piercing damage and are able to poke down those fairy dragons out of the sky. Also, Night Elf Army does have superior upgrades by far. Two, three upgrades as the Demon Hunter gets teleported back home after a strong mana burn. Fire Lord still pushing with a potion of invulnerability, trying to save all of these units here as the Gargant or Giant Sea Turtles and some of the Creep Camps are now making their way over as well. All right, Drew to the Claw getting taken down. Level 5 now on the Naga Sea Witch. Level 4 still on the, this Lich here off to the side as the Demon Hunter comes back around, trying to finish off some more of these units again. 59 supply for the Night Elf Army. Pushing back the other way, 46 supply for TBCBM as TBCBM is retreating back here. A little bit more lava spawn splitting again. Demon Hunter trying to well, bring up the rear, trying to chase down to this obsidian statue. Mana burn and death within range there as the Demon Hunter now, well, perhaps going to try and limit even more losses again cripple onto that demon hunter um demon hunter still trying to dive into position there's another mana burn once more but only a five hit, a mana mana burn again as obsidian statues are falling night elf looking to really t seal off this game it looks like he could close out this game here in just a second as the Demon Hunter is still looking strong enough, even though he is was affected by Cripple. All right, Death Knight now trying to retreat back. Lich, well, ends up falling, giving a level up to the Demon Hunter, who's now at level 6, Metamorphosis, and that would, well, give more ranged chaos damage again, finishing off the rest of these units. The Fire Lord trying to time his explosive attacks with that Incinerate, get another big explosion kill, and we're just looking at all of these units falling one at a time. Druid of the Claw is getting cleaned up here, but it looks like TBCBM is going to end up leaving the game, unable to hold on, um, even though he was behind economically, was able to do some efficient trades, but in the end, the level 6 Fire Lord clearing out this expo, and the level 5 Demon Hunter with Mana Burn able to tip things in favor and close out the game before the undead heroes could really hit their stride. Let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below. Here are the final scores.